all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There's a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you'll get yourself an extra 5% off. Hey guys, how's it going? Says back again with another episode of the interactive Road to Division 1 here on Xbox One. Now this is of course the series where you guys pick the teams that we play with, heading through the head-to-head -head ranked divisions trying to get that Division 1 title. Now the first team that we come up with today is Fiorentina, that was the most popular decision in the comment section of teams that we haven't played with yet. Do bear in mind guys, we have only had 10 episodes so far, this is obviously the 10th. Uh, a lot of you were voting for Chelsea and we did use Chelsea in uh, the opening episode and I don't really want to be... Uh, going back over teams just yet until we've used a few more and got a little bit deeper into the series so uh, do bear that in mind but the most popular one of uh, teams that we haven't used so far was Fiorentina and the suggestion comes in from Funky Town 49 Ahmed Madakra Mr FIFA 14 FIFA S King Bryce Henry and Chelsea Fan 701 so thank you very much to you guys for the suggestion of the Italian team we come into this one on the back of some good form uh, some wins with Italian teams in the previous episode 3 2 nil wins in 3 games in fact so we're very pleased with the uh, the progress we're making so far we're of course in Division 7 right now and uh, we've been in good form recently like I say so hoping to continue that in this one and we actually got off to a great start 2-0 up heading into half time and then Felipe Coutinho is going to dive in on the edge of the box get himself sent off as the last man just as we head into first half stoppage time so we get the chance to extend the lead at 3-0 and potentially kill the game off considering uh, you know a 3-0 deficit is very very hard to come back from especially with 10 men so uh, fingers crossed we can get that as you can see Coutinho gets nowhere near the ball just takes the man out through the uh, through the legs and it is a definite penalty Pizarro is the one that steps up but I'm going to change it to uh, Fernandez because of course he was the one that got taken down number 14 so we will switch to him and uh, he can take he's actually got the best penalty stats in the team I think 78 and he has actually the uh, the five star skiller if you remember from ultimate team so uh, hopefully he can put the ball into the back of the net and he actually can't it's a fantastic diving one handed save from Simon Minule to keep us out so we went in at half time still only at 2-0 and this ball from Lucas Leiva is phenomenal that is unbelievable the pinpoint accuracy of that and then the fantastic finish from Luis Suarez finishes the move off very very nicely indeed we will actually see that one again that ball is just next level you cannot get a better ball through the, from that especially with a player like Lucas Leiva who is not necessarily renowned for his uh, ability to spray the passes but uh, that was all he was going to be able to bring back in the second half we do take three points from this one so very very pleased to do so and uh, the second team we're coming up with is actually Villarreal recently promoted from Liga Atlante into La Liga and uh, this suggestion comes from Callum Whitlock Callum kind of Whitelock, sorry, say what 100 and again Funky Town 49. So uh, Tom clearly picking the most popular teams this week, but uh, we come into this one against Guingamp, or uh, I'm going to try some French here, Guingamp maybe. I'm not really too sure. I actually don't even know whether they're uh, Liga uh, or Liga 2. I think they're in the second division, but I'm not entirely too sure. But we got to a fantastic start. Two minutes 20 seconds in, we're actually one nil up through Aquino. And uh, this team actually, despite not having that higher rated players overall, are very, very effective when it comes to uh, counter-attacking football because they have a lot of pace in the team. Aquino there has 90 plus pace. Of course, got Uche up top, the Nigerian striker, and Giovanni Dos Santos as well, the Mexican, playing up through the middle. And uh, we only went in at half-time at 1-0, but the second half was going to kick off mad style. As you can see, we've had plenty of chances already in this game. Nine shots and eight on target. So I was hoping for more in the second half. And after uh, the Liverpool team went down to 10 men, it's actually Gringon that are going to go down to 10 men as well. Another player diving in on the edge of the box. I'm not really too sure whether it should be a red this time around. I think there are a couple of defenders on the cover, but the referee saw fit to send Kerberat off. And uh, you'll be able to see from the replay again. Got nowhere near the ball, completely took Giovanni Dos Santos out. It was a definite foul. Whether it was a red card or not, I'm not sure. It was quite a nasty challenge, so perhaps you could justify the other referee sending him off. Unfortunately, nothing came with a free kick, but it wasn't long before we were going to, before we were going to find ourselves too. Up. Lovely ball through to uh, Moy Gomez and they pops the ball into the back of the net. Really tidy finish just on the cusp of offside as the ball was played through. But fortunately, he, uh, the, the lino gave us the benefit of the doubt. And he was actually going to find himself on the end of another uh, nice passing move here to make it 3-0 just a few minutes after he'd scored his first. And then he scores his, and his second and our third, rather. And uh, we're actually going to make it four literally just two minutes after that Moy Gomez this time turns provider lovely lob through ball through towards Uche always going to try and turn his side onto his right foot and it's just an easy finish bar past the goalkeeper into the top right hand corner to make it 4-0 in the 75th minute but we still weren't done Uche is going to pick up another goal Aquino this time breaking down the right hand side as opposed to uh, coming down the left through Moy Gomez and uh, Uche races away and it's going to be a nice dink to finish goalkeeper rushes out maybe too concerned with getting down to it then uh, so wasn't able to react to the ball going up over 
over him. Uh, he was actually going to be able to pull himself a goal back before the game finished. Some sort of consolation, but really not much when you take a 5-1 hammering. So uh, very, very pleased to be able to take a win from this one. That's six points from six so far in this episode. Really weird celebration from him. But uh, anyway, actually, just while I think of it, let me know what you think of the new intro. Uh, a guy approached me via uh, via YouTube PM and uh, it's made an intro for me. I really, really like it, so I am going to use it. And uh, let me know what you think of the, the new 3D intro. I personally really, really do like that. So well, we're heading into the third game of the episode with the United States men's national team. This has been a popular choice for the past two episodes, actually. So I decided to definitely pick it this time around. Of course, we used Seattle Sounders in the last episode. But uh, this suggestion comes from Bryce Henry and Ian Carney. And uh, again, the United States national team, not necessarily the best overall player ratings. But again, a lot of pace in the team. DeMarcus Beasley is absolutely rapid. Eddie Johnson is very, very fast. I've got Landon Donovan on the bench as well and there's a couple of other decent players in there of course you've got uh, Jermaine Jones and Michael Bradley holding so very very solid in the centre of midfield as well as the pace out wide we went 1-0 up there and a nice finish from uh, from Eddie Johnson and we were definitely on top for uh, the majority of the first half this was a, just a sustained period of play where we just just flying at his goal Bradley's going to play the ball out to DeMarcus Bees he's going to strike it beautifully after turning the player and unfortunately hits the inside of the post and isn't able to find the back of the net so we went in at half time still again 1-0 up similar to the VRL match 1-0 at half time but plenty of efforts on goal so we're hoping for more of that in the second half did make the change to bring Landon Donovan on to add that little bit of a pace injection into a tiring Monaco team to hopefully make the difference and he did make the difference Eddie Johnson is going to play the ball over the top to Michael Bradley and this is actually a really gorgeous lofted uh, lofted attempt the goalkeeper just had absolutely no chance didn't even bother to try and jump for it just watched it glide over his head we will definitely see a replay of that coming up in just a second it's a really uh, delicate lofted finish we see him do it with the not rather than the laces he's just kind of side footed it gently over the top of the goalkeeper the technique's gorgeous there beautiful just over the goalkeeper and uh, no chance for him just underneath the bar and we go 2-0 up and then it was a case of just rounding out the game Landon Donovan going to use his pace to get away smash the ball in from the edge of the box to make it 3-0 just before uh, just before the end of the game five minutes from time including stoppage time as well but we weren't done we're still going to score a fourth and uh, make sure it's a convincing win and make sure we take six no nine points rather from uh, from this particular episode and you'll be able to see from the cutscene coming at the end when the uh, when the result comes up that the players are celebrating wildly and that is of course because we've now won Division 7 and claimed the Division 7 title as well so we've won title it was in Division 10, 9, 8 and now 7. So we are absolutely flying right now. We've won 6 games back to back now I think it is. And uh, yeah, 6 games as you can see back to back in this division. And uh, we actually won a couple before that in uh, in Division 8. So we're very, very pleased to, uh, to have the form going well for us as it is. So uh, hopefully we can continue that in the next episode. Which team should I use as we head into Division 6? Let me know in the comment section down below and the most popular ones will get used in the next episode. Of course, try not to regurgitate the same sort of teams we've had before. Try and uh, come up with uh, or try and suggest some teams that we haven't yet used in the series. But if you missed the previous episode, then feel free to click the annotation on screen over the left-hand fish there. That'll take you to that video. If you want to subscribe to the channel already, then feel free to do so. There's plenty of career mode, ultimate team and... And as you can see in this one, head to head on this channel for you to enjoy. So there will be a link in the description and an annotation on the screen over the right fist. And feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. At Chesnoy Gaming is a Twitter handle. There will be a link to that in the description as well. And of course, we did pick up a coin sponsor as we discussed earlier on in the week. So you will be seeing that intro from now on on the channel. So of course, if you need any coins, then feel free to head over to utcoinsforyou.com. Links to that in the description as well. But that's it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.